John, 2-2, uh, give us your thoughts. Yeah, I thought first half we were very good. Uh, I think we deserve to be one up, possibly maybe more. And Airdrie had created nothing, really. We only had to defend one corner kick just uh, on the stroke of half time. And so, yeah, we, we were in, uh, started the game well, in control, passed the ball fairly well. Uh, good goal in transition, a really, really good goal. Gary Oliver finding Callum, Callum breaking forward, strike at goal, comes off the goalkeeper. And uh, initially, Gary was there and it's managed to fall for Kai and uh, showed good composure to score. And I, I thought we merited being ahead at half time and as I say, maybe possibly more. But we've no started the second half. You know, credit to, to Airdrie, they did really, really well. They've stepped things up. We've not reacted. We know we. Airdrie are a team that have been free flowing and scoring loads of goals, and so you would never have seen that in the first half. So we had to expect Airdrie to, you know, to pick, pick, pick things up from their point of view, and we've got to be ready for that, you know. And we've had other games like this where we've done well in the first half, come out the second half, and not quite been, you know, the same. Uh, whether we think that the game is just going to pan out like that, you know, we sit at half time, you know, you've got to re realise that. And that's not their best shot, you know. So if they come out and do something, we've got to be ready and prepared for it. And it looked like we weren't. Uh, as much as the goals have come from a corner kick, which we're really disappointed about, to lose a to lose a goal to that type of thing is disappointing from our point of view defensively. And then we make an error, uh, which results in a penalty kick. So a bit disappointed the way that we're starting the second half. A little bit disappointed to the initial reaction to, to going 2 1 down. But delighted because it's a very important goal, a really, really important goal to keep the five-point gap. Uh, it's massive, and we showed that bit of resilience towards the end of the, the game to come back and uh, and and get a point from the, uh, you know, from what looked like it was going to be a defeat. And that's the thing, it's psychologically important as well, because realistically, there's a very high chance that Falkirk and Airdrie may well meet in, in the playoff campaign. Yeah, I think we've been expecting that to be the case for a wee while now, you know. So yeah, we are expecting to play. Uh, Airdrie in the playoffs, yeah, it's important that we finish in second place. Yeah, the home advantage in the second game is going to be so important, and that's our, you know, that, that was our target today. That was our aim to try and get that, make it eight points. Uh, we have a possible ninety play. Obviously, we've got a uh, five point lead. We we, we ninety to play for. Uh, we've got a game here on Tuesday night that we want to try and take full advantage of, and uh, well, the next couple of games put that to bed. Uh, so that is that is the aim, that is the target, uh, you know. Two, two things you said there, John, was, was one, at the start of the second half, you didn't think the guys were quite ready for Airdrie reacting, and secondly, you said you were a little bit disappointed in mm. how they reacted yeah. to yeah. going two down. Yeah. Is that a, a psychology thing then, that the guys maybe just need to, to, kind of, to work through? Yeah, you've got to keep concentrated in the game, you know, and I think that we maybe just... Uh, we shouldn't have, you know, we shouldn't get caught out. We shouldn't get caught out. You've got to be ready to go, you know, you've got to be ready to go. Uh, I just think, you know, the Airdrie should not have been able to up it and us get caught out. But that's what happened, you know, they kind of went, they have not done so well, probably got a rocket at half time, come out all guns blazing, and we, well, let's face it, we were found wanting, you know. Uh, so we have to, yeah, as I say, I was a little bit disappointed because I'm looking for characters to to come to the fore when we were in that kind of situation and uh, I was disappointed and didn't quite see that but you know we uh, we did rally at the end uh, Romanos took a you know an opportunity Liam Henderson won a number of headers in the box you know first half mostly in the first half but we didn't get anyone on the end of them and that was, that was disappointing because you've got to recognise that he's going to win that header and need to get in a position and thankfully Romanos did and it was a really good finish, you know, I've seen, I've seen those missed, he took it really, really well. And we're delighted to see that's a huge goal, it's a massive goal. Uh, when the situation that we want to finish, uh, you know, second in the league and to, to get that, you know, gap and keep the gap that we, that we had. We jokingly asked Ramarin if uh, after two goals and two home games would he be would he be knocking your door this week, and he said he was too too polite for that. But um, joking aside, uh, does he play his way back into your thoughts? Well, Ramarin's always got in your in your thoughts. You know, he did well against Dunfermline, he did well against Montrose. You know, we picked a team here that was very 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 close to the team that beat Airdrie. Airdrie, you know, there was only one change, uh, and the way we played that day led us to think that we could do it, we could play that way here. We didn't quite do that. Uh, but every day is a school day. Every day is a school day, and you, we learn uh, from from every game. 
and just finally it's uh, FC Edinburgh at home here on Tuesday I uh, appreciate it's, it's early given it's just after this game but can you give us your, your thoughts on that game ahead? It's an opportunity for us as I said there to try and get us eight, eight points clear of uh, Airdrie we're, obviously we're at home we've done reasonably well against Edinburgh in, in all the games they have probably recently dropped out of the playoff position they were there for a long long time they were up actually top of the league early on and they'll hang around for a for a, a, a big chunk of the, the season, but maybe just dropped off a little bit here. But I, I would expect them to make this really, really difficult for us, as they've tried to do in, in previous games. Uh, but we've got our own aims and desires and uh, you know things that we want to achieve, and we've got to go out here on Tuesday night and put our best foot forward and, and play well and, and, and get the result. Here's hoping we do. John, as always, that's your time. Thank you. Magic. Okay.